In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to take artwork that's been designed in another program, like this has been in Corel Draw, or it could be Adobe Illustrator, or any graphics program, and take this artwork and print it out, then load the printed artwork back into your vinyl cutter and cut out the contour cut lines that have been designed in this other program here. Now we do that using templates. I'll show you how that works. So back here in Draw Cut, what we need to do is bring up the Contour Cut Wizard. So we come up here and click on this button here, Contour Cut Wizard, and that loads up like so. And what we're looking for is the Templates tab here, but before we do that, the first thing we'll do is we'll just make sure we've got the right cutter. So here we'd want to use this cutter here, and we need to decide what marks we want to use. Manual is for a cutter with a laser pointer, and you can choose Ultra Marks if you want to have more accurate uh, contour cutting, but it will take a bit longer to do. Or you have this automated system here, which uh, is the um, laser mark sensors. So what we do is we check on that, that's the one we'll use. We won't worry too much about the actual marks being made here because the first thing we need to do is click on this Templates tab, click on Enable Template, and we need to set the size of our target artwork. So back here in Corel, you can see here my artwork is 450 by 450, but I actually want to cut this out at 381 by 381. So what we need to do here is actually tell the, uh, or set the template to that size. So we'll type in 381 by 381, and as you can see, it adjusts the, uh, the marks here on our target template size. Now we can come back here and we can change some of these settings, um, and we can change our mark options, etc. But generally speaking, the default settings are usually very good. So once we're happy with our template, what we need to do is save the template, and we'll call this, um, say, Fruit, for example. And click Save like so. And you can see that it's created the template, and it's given it this ID here. So if I zoom in to, say, 100%, you can see it's called a template ID number 8. So it's important that we are aware of that. And I'll just zoom out a bit more. As you can see, this is what the template has been made in it as a PDF file. So I'll just close out of that. And I'll just click Done there for the time being. Or we'll just go back into Corel for a moment. And we'll just create a new page. And what we're going to do now is import that template. So we go File, Import. And we look for the template we've just made, which was fruit.pdf. We click Import here like so. Click OK. doesn't really matter where we position this, but for the sake of simplicity, I'll just press P on the keyboard and that will center the template onto this uh, artwork here, onto this page, I should say. Now, it's important to note that uh, you can see here that the marks are within the bounds of the page. So when we go to print this later on, um, although we will select that uh, as the PDF file, you just want to make sure it's within the boundary so that it'll actually print. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to bring this artwork over to this template. And that's really quite simple to do. You can either select over it and go control copy and then control paste, or you can use the object manager here to drag and drop. So we'll just copy this to the clipboard, we'll go to page two and we'll paste it. Now it's very important that uh, we understand what's going on here. This square in the background here is the boundary of the template. So whatever we're creating, uh, whatever artwork we're making, the artwork must fit within the boundary of this template so that when it's loaded back into the vinyl cutter, after it's been printed, it'll actually fit within this area. So that's a crucial point that you need to be aware of. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, it's, it's reminding me that it's template ID number 8. So we can cross-reference this later on, and I'll show you how that works later. So once we've got to this stage, what we need to do is separate what we wish to cut and what we wish to print. The best way to do that is just to create a new layer. And in Corel, for example, or in uh, Adobe Illustrator, that's really quite simple. All we do is we go click here, go New Layer, we give it a name. Cut Layer is a good example. So we've now created this cut layer here. So we need to move the template border and the contour cut line together off onto this other layer. And that's very, very simple. All we need to do there is we can click on this object here and we simply just drag it over and drag it into there. And that now goes into the cut layer. And what we want to do is also move off the actual this square background, which is this white colored curve here, as you can see like that. And again, I can just, uh, I can go control X to move that and go here and go control V. 
and you can see that it's moved this background, the, the template boundary to that layer. And to get the Z order correct, you just simply move that up like that. And now you can see we have the contour cut line and the template border on its own layer. So if I turn off the other layer, this layer here, you can see that's all we have left. And vice versa, if I turn that off like that, you can see that the template border and the contour cut lines have now been moved away from this artwork. And that's exactly what we, what we want to do now. The first step is obviously to print this artwork. We need to print the artwork so that we can then lay it or set it back into our contour, in, sorry, into our vinyl cutter so we can cut it out after it's been printed. So step one is to print this artwork. Now to print artwork out of Corel is very easy. You can simply select a marquee over it and you can go file and you can go down to print and print it directly or you can publish it to PDF. And publishing it to PDF, I might call this um, fruit print. So I know that that's my print job and I click save. And I'll just load that up into a breeder like so. And you can see that it's going to actually print this out with a template ID up here and the marks. And that's critical that you go and print that out. Now, from a PDF file, you can obviously rip that uh, using your RIP software, or you can print it directly. You can give this artwork to somebody with a large format printer or a desktop printer. It really, that's entirely up to you. But the idea is that you go off and print this now. And once you've printed that, then you load that into your vinyl cutter. So. We assume that's been done and what we do is we turn that layer off and we go to this layer and what we need to do is get this layer back in a draw cut so that we can use that in the contour cut wizard. And that's very simple again as well. We simply draw a marquee over it like so. Go file, publish to PDF and we can give that any name we like. It really doesn't matter. We can call that fruit cut for example. Now just click on settings here and make sure that the selection is checked there. That's very important and click Save. And that's now gone off uh, into that folder I've just saved it to. So now that we've finished with Corel, we can minimize that. And what we want to do now is import that file we've just saved, which is uh, fruitcut.pdf. And you can see in the preview here. So we click Open. And we just simply click Accept, because we want this as editable. So make sure Import as Editable is selected, and click Accept. And you can set that anywhere. It doesn't matter where you position this on the page, what we want to do is get that template back into the Contour Cut Wizard. So simply click on the Contour Cut Wizard like we did in the past, load that up, and we immediately go to Templates, we click on Enable Template, and we check this button here, and it automatically remembers our last template was number 8. Of course I've got all these other ones, but number 8 is the one we're interested in. You can see it's the right size, and it completely or exactly matches what we had in Corel. So now we're ready to cut this. Now, all we do to cut that is we simply load in the artwork as it's been printed into our vinyl cutter, and we make sure that the laser sensor is over this bottom right-hand corner, and then this window loads up as we can see here, and it shows us a preview of the cut file that we've just designed and sent from Corel back into DrawCut here. Now, I covered this in uh, previous lessons, but again, I'll just quickly mention that you need to match whatever the rotation, the way you've, you've placed this into your vinyl cutter, it needs to match on the screen here. So just make sure that matches. Again, uh, put your uh, arm sensor, the laser, the red dot over this bottom right hand corner between these two marks here, right in the very right corner. And once you're ready to cut that, you can click Start. And the mark sensor controller comes up as we can see here. We can see where it's going to scan our marks. We have all these settings here. Again, they're covered in previous lessons. You can watch those when you're ready, or go back and watch those. Once we're ready to go, we click Scan. We follow that through, and it goes off, and it sends it to the vinyl spooler, where we can cut this out. And we can cut this out any time we like. So that's how templates work. Um, and if you follow those instructions carefully, which I've also placed in the manual for you, and I've used the same artwork and the same sample, you'll see that in there. Follow that through do some practice and um, you'll find that those templates are a great way of bringing in artwork from other programs and then using DrawCut to cut them out for you. So you don't have to worry about importing you know, super large or complex artwork into this program. You can simply design it in uh, your other programs, just create your contour cut lines, just make sure the templates, uh, you follow those instructions and you'll be good to go. 
that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.